now we will try to understand about these the features on the floor especially the cranial fossas one by one so first to start with the anterior cranial fossa you are, you are able to see here <coughs> the anterior cranial fossa mainly lodges your frontal lobe the frontal lobe of the cerebrum is actually resting on this anterior cranial fossa then mainly this part the frontal bone orbital part of the frontal bone forms your roof of the orbit and in front and sides it is actually bounded by the frontal bone itself squamous part of the frontal bone this is the orbital plate of frontal bone which forms the roof of the orbit posteriorly it is limited by this yellow color one what you are able to see is the lesser wing of sphenoid posteriorly it is limited by the lesser wing of the sphenoid and the lesser wing of sphenoid posterior most margin is very sharp a sharp margin you can also call it as the sphenoidal crest sphenoidal crest lesser wing of sphenoid and the two lesser wing of sphenoid are connected in between this bar of bone is actually called as the jugum sphenoidal it is actually called as the jugum sphenoidal the floor of the anterior cranial fossa is formed by three bones orbital plate of frontal bone as i told you posteriorly it is the lesser wing of sphenoid and in the midline it is by the cribriform plate of ethmoid bone okay so these three bones forms the floor of the anterior cranial fossa orbital plate of frontal bone cribriform plate of ethmoid bone and then the lesser wing of sphenoid the two lesser wing are connected posteriorly in the midline by the jugum sphenoidal so jugum is actually uh, it refers to the bullock cart so when the bullock cart what drives the bullock cart is a pair of cows so you put a bar of wood on the neck of that cow that is actually called as jugum or jugum sphenoidal so contents as i told you mainly it is the frontal lobe of the cerebrum now coming to the features of the anterior cranial fossa what do you come across mainly so cribriform plate of ethmoid it is actually cribriform in sieve like or perforated through which the olfactory nerve filaments the emerge from the roof of the nasal cavity or from the olfactory mucosa which lines the roof of the nasal cavity is the cribriform plate of ethmoid which transmits the olfactory nerve filaments in the middle you see a triangular bar of bone which is actually called as the crista galli that is the crista galli and then here you see the frontal crest this is actually the frontal crest the crista galli and the frontal crest gives attachment to the fox cerebri it mainly gives attachment to the fox cerebri and between the crista galli and the frontal crest you have a foramen which is called as the foramen cecum so the foramen cecum actually transmits so here you are able to see the foramen cecum which actually transmits a 